Yeah, sure, why not? Some moss resistances would do well. And time passes. Alright. May I? I may. Fantastic. This ought to be interesting. Wonderful. Let's mingle. The dwarven Lenshark dared to demand repayment. I cannot believe I spoke to a princess. Um. Rumor says that King Radovid will negotiate with Faltest. Yeah. I cannot believe I spoke to a princess. I hear prices will increase. Princess Anna you should marry dead of the tournament. Oh, it is. Arrive on horseback in full arm. Hi. Would you be so kind and fetch me some pate? Help! Here we are. Wipe that frown off your face. You'll be fine. Can't we go back to your place? Make sure I have no internal injuries. Later, Geralt. Come on. This isn't so bad. Let's mingle. Mm hmm. The nobles were hit hardest by the plague. Uh, welcome to Lord Levarden's feast. Oh, that's where I am. Almost didn't notice. Geralt of Rivia and Triss Merigold, welcome! Greetings. I thank you for coming. Uh, look about the room and you will see the entire kingdom represented. Yeah. We thank you for your invitation. Forgive me, I must return to my duties. I'm certain we'll speak later. I can kind of feel with Geralt on this. I've never been one for parties and stuff like that before. Well, the it's always so noisy and crowded. Well, not that I've been to particular many parties, mind you. I knew a witcher. Peasants killed him. Why did they all come if they dislike Luvardi? Don't know. Maybe they knew a girl who made them do it or something like that. Hello. Milady, allow me to present the sorceress Triss Merigold, and... Duet, I know who stands before me. We know each other, do we not, Witcher? One could say so, Princess. A princess, indeed, though I do not always feel like one. So many duties. You could not imagine, Witcher. Why do you stare? Is my dress displeasing? I see you still wear the gemstone with the inclusion. The curse. Shut your filthy mouth, mutant. But the curse may yet. Enough! Your Highness, allow me to cast this drifter out. We no longer desire to speak with you. Step away. Well, isn't that suspicious? Geralt, allow me to introduce Burgomeister Bellarad. Charmed. Greetings. It's uh, been a while. It has. Bellarad is King Foltest's right hand. Oh. No need for formal introductions. If you wish to open a factory or a shop, uh, kill a monster, or petition the king, you must come to me. I'll remember that. Yeah. Excuse us, Burgomeister, but we need to say hello to the other guests. Yeah. Joy. Wasn't that fascinating? Hi. Geralt, have you met Taller? Taller? Here? Let me introduce my master, the Honorable Erkin von Blunt. Good day, sir. Erkin has taken a vow of silence and thus cannot answer. You must be wondering why he is here. Indeed. He has made numerous vows in his life, one of which is to protect the royal family. Sadly, for unknown reasons, Princess Ada holds little respect for him. Vows, however, must be honored, whatever the circumstances. 
And how are you involved? Are you bound by his vows by extension? He authorized me to speak on his behalf, and I serve as his advisor. Of course. We shan't be bothering you. Come, Geralt. You've met everyone who's anyone. I need to speak with Luvarden. You behave yourself. Beware of anyone who tries to pry information from you. From me? But I'm just a witcher. Don't be fooled. Anything you say may have political ramifications. Oh, and now I have to be careful what I say! Hey, everyone! Get this! I have to be careful about m expressing my opinion! Isn't this just going to bomb? Oh, Christ. Hate social gangs. Be careful what you say. Mind yourself. Don't step on anyone's toes. I'm blunt as a sledgehammer. I don't fit in in places like these. Uh, let's steal something. It'll make me feel better. A bowl? Well, let's check the bowl. Luvarden has excellent taste. <sighs> I'm busy now. I'll be with you shortly. Give us a moment, please. Wonderful. Speak freely, Geralt, but no politics. Thank you. I want to ask about the princess. No politics. About the curse. Shh. I could use something stronger. Fine. Ask... Does the princess have strange dreams? How would I know? I've not spoken to Ada without one of those bastards from the Order prisons. This is Any very strange suspicious. Behavior? You're awfully close to treason. I'm not asking out of want for political influence. Our sweet princess is completely normal. Well, uh, her head's a little messed up. Is she aggressive? On occasion, but not unusual for a spoiled damsel. I don't know. Just she's... speak freely, man, before I slap you! Spit it out. She needs a man to give her a proper lay. Right. <sighs> Must go. Later. <sighs> Hi. Drink. <laughs> hmm, it doesn't want that. All right. You want something stronger? Fine. A man of taste. That's okay. I got plenty. How about some twist on bread? Some very old wine. Had to kill some ghouls to get it. Very interesting adventure. Hmm. Might have to use my potion pieces now. But let's try some sudden meat first. And that makes stuff happen. Uh, curses. I'm drunk. He speaks. I broke my vow. I swore on a heron. A heron? Nonsense. Tala hired me to come incognito to the feast. You blew it. No scene, please. This ring will get you in the House of the Night. Half price. Interesting. What is the House of the Night, and why would I be interested? Give me a minute. I need to get a bite. Hey, Fela, the armor guy, he kind of spoke. Enjoying yourself? No. Exquisitely. Not enough food, nowhere to sit, and nothing but small talk. 
And I may be the only one here not involved in one of the many schemes or secret alliances being forged. It's a sign of the times, new customs and fashions. You think it better to show the Nilfgaardian we're barbarians? That we can't distinguish between a fork and a comb? That the only way we know how to feast is to get blind drunk and roar lusty songs while slapping the serving wenches on their ass? I'm a relic, someone from the past, so I'm rather attached to the old customs. Never understood nor liked the new ones. But really, Taller, why are you here? I'm a patriot. I'm the good of the kingdom at heart. A kingdom threatened by the schemes and alliances you were observant So this is civilization. I said I was Backstabbing, a but secretly. Great. Be straight, like Taller the Fence would be. Taller the Fence does nothing for free. Taller the Fence is a scoundrel who'd prefer the Temple District not know he consorts with the cream of Vizima society. Have it your way. Let me tell you, friend, a serious slash fest is in the works. One without pardon. The defeated will be picked apart by crows. You'll be forced to fight for a new order, comrade, or against it. We will fight for our traditions and customs, for our land and our women. Who's this enemy? Who wants to steal our women? I wouldn't deceive you. I think you're one of us. It's a cause we share. I don't know the enemy yet, but I will soon, and when I do, the time of the sword and the axe will come. Blood will flow in the streets. And know this, comrade, there will be no room for your neutrality. Who exactly are you? And be straight with me, comrade. Temerian intelligence. I execute the king's direct orders. I find traitors, rats, and foreign agents. I'm a spy. A highly placed spy. I can't deny it. May I ask a personal question? The amphibians you're after, are they a personal matter or an ideological one? Personal. Care to explain? They robbed me and killed a friend. That enough? Got it. Thank you for being candid. Who exactly is DeWitt, and what is he doing here? That Nilfgaardian dog is a mere pawn. I cannot fathom why Ada tolerates him. Explain. Like most knights of the Order, he worries his dicks too small. So he gets aggressive whenever something scares him. Then, of course, he's a Nilfgaardian. Our princess has some weaknesses, but stupidity is not one of them. Maybe the princess has a game of her own going. Then she should choose better allies. Unlike chess, this game claims lives. I'm afraid someone might be using her. Is Luvardin somehow involved? I need to get Urk in a private meeting with him. At present, his intentions are a pure riddle. Hmm. To me, too. Really? What do you mean? Your friend seems to get along famously with Luvardin. For two strangers, they certainly have much to discuss. See for yourself. I trust Triss. I suppose you know her better than I, but don't say I didn't warn you. Regarding Luvarden, we know he heads some transnational organization of merchants, bankers, and other wealthy folk. Make what you will of it. Why do you want to draw me into a game that doesn't concern me? This game concerns you more than you imagine. You mean to tell me you're not interested in the conflict between the Order and the Scoyatel? You mean to tell me you don't care? What about your lover, Triss Merigold? That's private. I want to destroy Salamandra. That is my only objective. Salamandra has a patron. Someone in this room, or one known here. You're up to your ears in this, Wolf, whether you like it or not. I'll just attack the problem with my... Excuse me for a moment. Trademark we'll bluntness. I'll just find out who I have to kill and then kill them. Oh, this Waste of words. Huh?